Welcome back to the channel. Work and productivity is a little trickier these days than it was in the past and that's mainly due to all of the distractions that we have in our lives. TV, the internet, mobile phones. My oh my how distracting in particular the internet is when you are working on something. But that shouldn't be the case. If you are working on something, you should be focused on it. That's not always how it pans out and because you have all of these distractions at your fingertips, it ends up stopping you from doing your work. Now there's nothing wrong with having distractions, but it's the timing of it, especially if you have something to do. And it's important to understand the reasons why we get distracted in the first place. Number one, avoidance. You don't want to do the task, simple as that. It's something you have to do, but you don't really want to do it. And so when you see a video link recommended on YouTube or when your phone pings, you immediately jump at that chance to engage with it. Number two, Difficulty. Whatever you're doing might be just too difficult or hard for you to complete. And so you subconsciously look to get distracted, which kind of ties in with point number one. So again, when that phone buzzes, you go for it. Here are some solutions you could do to stop these problems. So solution one, make your task somewhat enjoyable. So if it's boring or tedious, try and make it exciting. Now, admittedly, this may take a lot of mental practice and you will have to tell yourself that what you're doing is super fun. The theory behind this is that we don't get distracted from our distraction because quite simply put, those distractions are fun. So if you're watching something on Netflix, if you're playing a game, you won't get distracted from it because you're enjoying it. Solution two, take a break. Now, this means you can pause working and then seek out those distractions to take your mind off of things when the work gets tedious or if your head feels like it's going to explode. That's not to say you take a break just literally after five minutes because that's not being productive, that's just being distracted. Solution three, remove the distractions. Now I'm talking about the mobile phone in particular. If you're working on a desktop or a laptop, it's a bit different somehow. There's a certain psychology about it that when you want to get distracted, you will move away from the object of focus, even though in your case, that might include the web browser on the computer if that makes sense. So this is why you need to put your phone on silent, put it far away, turn it over so you can't see the screen or even switch it off. Solution four, organize your working environment. This is very important. If you work somewhere where your TV is or where your PlayStation or other gaming console is, then that's not going to work at all. Your working environment needs to be somewhere suitable where distractions are at a minimum. Solution five, Time management, okay? You must organize how you will utilize your time. Break down your work into more manageable time slots or something similar to milestones. So for example, you might say after 20 minutes, you'll be working on this. And after 30 minutes, you'll be working on this. Then after an hour, it will be lunch or break time and so on and so forth. Hopefully that they were a few points for you to consider. I know that these points definitely help me in being a bit more productive. Uh, I can make videos later on on how I might do this, particularly using my MacBook Air M1. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, as my channel is growing and I'm appreciating the wonderful comments that I'm receiving. And until next time.